special guest for you. But before I announce that, first thing I want to do is give a special thanks and an acknowledgement to Howard Sandifer and his wife, Darlene Sandifer, the founders of the Chicago West Community Music Center on the West Side, um, for coming up with this idea of a video podcast. They felt a need to get personal, if you will, with some of our leading newsmakers. So it's with that thought in mind that we have our very special guest tonight, Mr. Marshall Thompson, the only surviving member of the legendary Shy Lights. Oh, you know their music. Songs like, Oh Girl, Have You Seen Her? Give More Power to the People, Stone Out of My Mind, my favorite. But one thing, Marshall is wearing a mask today at home because of the pandemic. He wants to be extra safe. So without further ado, let's get started. How you doing now? I'm doing very well. I'm doing very well, sir. Pleasure, yes, to, be Pleasure to be on your show tonight. Oh, thank you. Thank you for agreeing to be on my show tonight. Okay. Yes, indeed. OK, so let's start at the very top. You received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. That's a huge honor. How did that come about? Well, what happened is where it really kind of started when I went out to, to Jackie Wilson's to get his star. Jackie Wilson's family had me to be uh, one of the special guests, host guests of his uh, honor to get his star. And when I made my speech up there, I come out, came off stage. And the next thing I knew after the, after the party, we went home and everything. And I just get this phone call saying they're going to honor the shy lights. I said, what? <laughs> honor the shy in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I said, man, that's a dream come true to me. So about two years later, they had a uh, raffle, of course, you know, the people that signed up to be get a star in Hollywood. We ended up coming in at number one. I couldn't believe it. Yep, we wow. came in number one of a thousand honorees. Wow, wow. Okay, so now all you guys are obviously from Chicago, Shy Lights. So where did you grow up in Chicago? What street did you grow up on? The south side of Chicago, 47 and St. Lawrence. That's oh, okay. where I grew up at, right there. Uh, going to the schools. Uh, of course, uh, went to High Park High School for a while. Then I switched over to Du Sable. The rest of the, you squirrel and red, they went to High Park High School. Eugene Record went to Inglewood High School. And uh, we were friends. We used to sing, uh, sing against each other first battle against each other's group. And then we end up coming together as a group, okay, and, and start singing. And then when we got out of high school, I got my first break with Gladys Knight in the Pips at the Rigo Theater, playing drums. So I played drums with Gladys for the whole week at the Rigo. Then I left there, then I had another shot, a job with Major Lance. Uh, he had out to record Monkey Time at the time. So I ended up playing drums for him for two years. And we end up in Houston, Texas, and uh, Major Lance was late for doing his show, and I was there on drums, so I had to sing. So what I did, I went and sung uh, all the Gene Chandler's records, you know, Rainbow and Nothing Can Stop Me and Duke of Earl. I did all those songs, and the uh, the audience went wow. So at the end of the night, Ray Barnett in Houston, he said. Hey man, you sound good. I said, I, yeah, I sound good. I should bring my group out of Chicago up here. He say, what's the name of the group? I said, Marshall and the Highlights. He said, Marshall, now they don't know y'all name. I can't bring them up here. I said, I tell you what, let me go over and see my manager, which is Muhammad Ali. 
over at the hotel. So I went over at the hotel and I asked Muhammad Ali. I said, listen, can I bring, put your name on the marquee outside at the Ray Barnett Center Club? He said, that's cool. He said, would you gonna bring the guys down here? I said, yeah, I'm gonna bring Eugene Squirrel and Red down here and sing at the Ray Barnett Center Club. You have to use somebody's name because they didn't know who we were. They didn't know nothing about no Marshall, no highlights. So we put his name up on the marquee and we came down here. People was wrapped around the block to see Muhammad Ali. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we was backstage. And so Muhammad Ali comes out and say, hey, I'm gonna bring on my group that I managed from Chicago. We went in there and tore that place up. And then people started bringing us on there every week. Got back to Chicago and then uh, Joe Jackson called me. He said, Marshall, could you get us some gigs out of town? So I, cause I was playing them all over Chicago at one time, you know, Bill Street, Peyton Place and all them places, Bonanza. So they end up getting on the talent show with us. Okay. They was on the talent show at the Rigo Theater and Bobby Taylor at Vancouver was the headliner. So in the, in the, in the halftime of the show, I went upstairs and talked to Bobby Taylor. I said, Bobby, can you take us to Motown? He said, man, I think about that, Marshall, because me and him is a good friend, okay? I think about that. But in the meanwhile, Michael Jackson then was tearing up the stage downstairs. The girls is going crazy. Ah, ah, screaming. He said, who is that down there making all that noise, making them girls scream like that? I got to go on stage in a minute. He said, that's little Michael Jackson and the Jackson Five. I said, you want to, I'll take you down there and introduce him to Joe Jackson, they dad. So I took him downstairs, introduced him to Joe Jackson. And the next morning when I woke up, I get a call from Joe. I said, Joe, what's going on, man? Where you at? He said, man, we on our way to Motown. <laughs> I said, what about me? What about me? He said, hey man, we going to Motown. So. They went on to Motown. That's when they got their big break with, from Bobby Taylor and the Vancouver's. And then the next morning, I went down to, I was on the bus going to 12th Street down the Roosevelt Road down there. And Major Lance was walking down the street. So I got off the bus. I said, Major, what you doing down there? Oh, I'm at the office. Man, come on, walk up to the office with me. So I went up to the office. And uh, that was that's how we met Carl Davis. Carl Davis was up there. And then Jackie Wilson was coming up the steps with with Paul with uh, Nat Turnable, so I, he so he, he, Nat said, "What you doing down there?" I said, "Man, we can trying to get an audition down here. I'm gonna tell me if we can get an audition. I'm gonna go pick up Squirrel and Red Gene. Red was working at the post office. Squirrel was a welder, and Eugene Record was uh, just a cab driver. <laughs> so I got them together. We went down there and auditioned for Carl Davis, and that's how we got started." Wow, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Did you ever think that you would be the last one standing? No, again, I'm the youngest one, <laughs> but I never thought I would be the last one. <laughs> wow. Well, I try to keep my health together. You know, no smoking, no drinking, no none of that, you know, just entertaining. Okay, you're doing a great job with that. And that brings me to your latest record, White Thank Christmas. You. What made right. you decide to record that? Is there a connection to the song that's dear to your heart? Just well, yeah. Go ahead, please. That was, that my dad's one of my dad's favorite songs that he wrote. He sung on the road with Louis Armstrong. You know, he was one of the musicians that played with all of them. Louis Armstrong, Red Allen's band. So that was one of the songs that he sung. So this year, I thought of it. Christmas was coming up. And I said, wait a minute. Last year, we didn't have a chance to have fun with the kids. Nobody could get no presents, could nothing. I said, I'm gonna make me a song that I can sing when I see the kids this year. I can sing my song to them. I wasn't thinking about actually coming out with the record. So when I went in there and sung it, just like my dad, I said, man, I sound like my daddy on this one. How Louis Armstrong was singing. And, uh, and my father, William Thompson. So that's what happened. And we put the record out, the record bust in one week. Wow, okay, all right. So now for this Christmas, how will you celebrate? Well, I'm gonna have some of the kids come in, all of them can come in, but a lot of them will be coming in right here in Vegas. 
and have fun. And we're going to get some presents and everything. While they open their presents, I'm going to be singing my new song. <laughs> okay. 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 Now, how many kids do you have? Well, that's quite a few. <laughs> like, fair, enough. fair enough. Fair enough. Can you recall your favorite Christmas ever? You know, either, either as a child or as an adult, there was one yeah, Christmas. Was a child, that a child when I first got my first set of drums for Christmas, that was the best Christmas ever. And I was six years old then. Got it, got it. Okay. Now you have a big concert coming up out there in LA. Right. Who, else on, who, who else is on the bill with that concert? Well, well we sold out already 30,000 people. We got uh, Al Green on there. We got Snoop Dogg, we got 50 Cent. We got the Isaac Brothers. We got uh, a lot of the other guys like the Dramatics and different groups like that. We got Rolls Royce on there. It's about 30 acts. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It starts. At, it starts at eleven o'clock in the morning, and it ends at eleven o'clock at night. Got it. Got it. Now your wife is part of the the Shylights lineup, isn't she? Yeah, she's the background singer and the road manager. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. 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 Now you have a cool nickname that I just love, the Godfather of vocal groups. How did that come about? Well, during the tour. Doing the tour for so many years, but traveling with all the groups like the dramatics, stylistics, and you know, through the Dales and all those kind of groups. What what happened is before my wife passed away about 23 years ago, she told me that I had to get on the computer. And I said, What? Get on the computer? I got a pencil. She said, No, you gotta learn that computer. So when I got into the computer, it, I was messing up at first. Every night I would mess up, stand up all night trying to work that computer. And uh, I ended up learning it. So I found out where our money was, all the goose money. So I, I said, oh, I'm going to get you some money. I got the Delphonics some money. I got the Dramatics some money. I got the stuff. Everybody some money. So one day I came in at the concert. They said, here come the Godfather. Here come the Godfather of vocal groups. I said, what? So I just kept it. It kept it going from there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Do you have any favorite groups today that you like listening to? Well, the groups today, I like uh, Cisco's group. You know, he's little Cisco. I like the boys and men. Okay. Those type of groups. Yeah, they can sing. Those guys can really sing. Yes, yes, yes. Now, I didn't know that Snoop Dogg is your godson. Oh, uh, yes, his mama made me his godfather. She came to she came to our concert in Los Angeles, okay, and she brought him with her. So he came and enjoyed the show, and we've been, uh, and she said, oh, you, you his godfather. His mama made me his godfather, okay? <laughs> right. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. And Casper, Casper, too, Cha-Cha Slide, his mother made me his godfather. Okay. Got it, mm -hmm. got it, mm -hmm. got it. Do you have any special memories of Carl Davis from Brunswick Records days? Well, Carl Davis started it all. He won, gave us our break when we first went down to 12th Street. So we have great memories of him because if he hadn't assigned us uh, and put our name in there to sign us, we, who knows where we would have been, you know? But everybody started from somewhere. And it started from Carl Davis. Cool, cool, cool. Now, also, um, Beyonce sampled one of your your records when she did "Crazy in Love." It was um, "Are You My Woman." Did you did you hear about it on the radio, or did you know that she wanted to sample it? Did she call you guys, or how did all that happen? Do you think? Well, she sent one of our representatives in at the at the Beacon Theater in New York. They came and got one of our greatest hit albums. We gave it to her, and next thing I know. I heard myself playing the Congos on her record. I said, that's me. <laughs> that's me. So oh, she, added wow. some, she added some more Congos to it, some of the people to, to bring it more up to date. But I kept hearing me playing my part. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, that, was, that was amazing. That was amazing. Yeah. yeah, she's very sweet. Very sweet. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, I'm, I'm about to close now. Um, how would you like to be remembered, Marshall? Well, 
the side of me, the legacy of me, uh, always trying to help somebody, always trying to help groups. The groups are coming, 40 going north, especially out here in Vegas. They come in, they get, I don't know how they get my number, <laughs> but they get that email address. I got emails all day. Could you help us? Could you help us get to the door? Could you do this? Could you do this? I said, I can't help everybody, but I can do the best I can with the ones that come in with some good product. Got it, got it. You know, I, I got to say something before we close. You know, you're wearing a mask. We, we all wear masks in, indoors because of the pandemic. So just let the let the listeners, uh, the viewers know that. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. Anything mm -hmm. else you want to share? Well, I, well, I got you here. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to tell us? Anything else? Well, I like to thank. I like to say to you, and thanks for having me on your program. Number one, number two is. I'd like to thank all the people because the end of this month, I will be with the Shadow Lights for 63 years. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Mm -hmm. And you're still going strong. Yeah, you know, we're still going strong. Still doing what we do. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. And thank you, Chicago. I see you in the summer next year. All right. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye. Okay. You know, it's Christmas time once again. And I've been dreaming. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas Just like the ones I used to know the tree tops glisten and children listen to hear sleigh bells in the snow I'm dreaming